So uh, here we go, round two. Uh, we got Ben. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> there was light and everybody went wild. All right, so now you guys should be able to see things a lot here. Now that we have actual light in this room. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, Howard. <laughs> All right, so we got uh, Ben Mason here on the left playing uh, ETF, and uh, so so this could potentially be a pretty classic, pretty classic. match. Yep, K versus HB. Uh, so you know, I'm not sure. HB has a lot of options right now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've been tinkering around with the media blitz, uh, Jank. <laughs> um, I, I do slightly different. I only play with one mandatory upgrades, and I play with three fast tracks. That way I, I can fish for it if I need to. But, Sounds like fun. But, uh, so, you know, it's been, it's been doing pretty well. Hey, hey, yeah. But it looks like... Uh, this is probably food. <laughs> I think so. Probably food. Probably. There's a caprice in there. So, uh, so this is definitely more of a glacier style here from Ben. Um, Edge fund ice, breaker bay, that looks good. Yep. So, uh, each year over HQ is, or over R&D is interesting in decision. Well, you got it in the back. You get that clutch destroyer in the back of your server that's tough for Kate. Yeah, I don't even know if you need to throw it down. I, I think, you know, Ishii, while well, it's good, it, it becomes positional. You know, it yeah. doesn't really do a lot as your last piece of ice on the server. Some of these making glory run, mm -hmm. they don't care if their programs are fashion. Mm -hmm. when, you put a, when you put a card like that in the back, it's because they might not expect it to be there. Sure. They might take a somewhat calculated risk later in the game that wins you the game. You know... I mean, realistically, out of, I think, you know, out of HP, the, the biggest thing you're worried about is, you know, face planting and architect. Architect. That's really it, though. You're not mm -hmm. really afraid of a whole lot of other stuff this early in the game. Right. Um, you know, and again, you know, until, and, that, and it, it's good as HP, you don't have to worry about spending your credits, you know, mm -hmm. needlessly resing ice early because people are too worried about having that happen. Mm -hmm. So we got two hedge funds. Uh, you could probably get this NAPD out pretty quick. Kate doesn't want to go broke to go get that, if that's something you're interested in doing. You don't really have an asset to get up. Oh! Ooh. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Looks like we're just uh, messing with the lights. The lights, because the lights <laughs> came on. So, uh, give, us a, give us a couple seconds. All right. All right, all right, we're back. So, oh, so two caprices this early. Uh, do you have anything that ends the run? I can't quite see what the middle one is. Oh, I like that card. Oh, there's one. <laughs> that's an Ichi 2. Architect. Two Ichi 2s, wow. I'm not a huge fan of Ichi 2. I think it's, it, what he's doing is you get the Ichi 1 and Ichi 2 um, on the same server against Kate with a CVS. Sometimes uh, they'll rely on Atman 4 sure. and you can... You can ruin the game for him. My, my only issue with EG2 is, you know, it's only one strength more. Yeah. You know, but it's it's three costs more. Yeah. One thing is about EG1, sometimes you get people with it, but then they get a few turns where they can blow through it, especially if you play against Andy. Sure. You just blow through it. But EG2, you can't do that. It stays a little bit live. You know, the thing is, though, programs. With, with Assassin now being released, I almost yeah. feel like Assassin is a better play than EG2. Yeah. You know, it, it, the net damage it's is not trace. irrelevant. It's a trace, so it's super taxing, even if they don't mm -hmm. Um, it, it costs one less. So the Ichi the 2, you train. can really nail a noise player with sometimes, because they'll click through the trashes and you can stick them with the tag. Sure. Um, I was playing around with it a lot, and that's part of why. I, I just don't like its cost. It yeah, the co it's prohibitive. Yep. It's prohibitively expensive. So I was playing one. I would never think two. That's right, insanity. That's, and, and we've already seen two. I mean, this is early in the game, so who knows? Mm -hmm. There might be three. I mean, this... This could be just pure um, program crash. Did you see what's in there? Is one of the Caprice in there? I think so. <laughs> that is Ben's hand. Focusing the camera. <laughs> this is like the stream is under cyber attack. Ooh. All right. That's special effects. <laughs> so a little bit of glare now, I think, though. So I think that's a Caprice in there, right? I think so, yeah. Okay. I, it's I a little sad that he doesn't have a uh, Eva Adonis yet with all right. this, like, eight-cost ice. You want to... He needs and, some and break, binary and bay. the run ice here right now. I, I don't think he's drawn anything. Mm -hmm. But if you get a if you get an asset up behind an Ichi 2, nobody's going and getting that. No, absolutely ever. not. Ever. So well, I mean, you I don't, don't need to end the run. I, I mean, the hard part is, you know, people talk about as soon as you see a Caprice... 
You just stop running that server. Exactly. Right? I know. So, in fact, when you have Caprice, your ice doesn't necessarily need. <laughs> doesn't need to, to be in the run. Useful, like even right. an architect is basically in the run in front right. of a Caprice. Absolutely. So, and if it's not the last piece, it literally is because you can get the Caprice back. Yep. Yep. So uh, Kyle here getting set up. Um, he's got the one prepaid. Yeah, he's just kind of in a in a building mode. I mean, there's no pressure yeah. from to run anywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, no multi access going on for him, so you know he doesn't want to waste any of his money. I think this is a skill intensive matchup for Kate, knowing when to turn it on Absolutely. and start going. There's the NAPD. This probably you know, this probably is a type lock. Of matchup. You need to make your runs very very efficient. Mm -hmm. you, because of the taxi nature of HP Ice, you can't afford to just run willy. You're gonna you're gonna go broke. Yeah, is, is the problem. You know, against Standard NBN, I and mean, you're spending maybe three tries for a server. Ooh, Stimhack. So he's Stimhacking going in that server. All right, so now if these are a bunch of beaches, Ben's got to spend a lot of money here. Yeah. That's the hard part. Mm -hmm. you know, that's one thing we talk about with the cost of Ichi 2.0 being... So he could just res the Ichi 2 and the Caprice, maybe. I don't I didn't. I missed what the other one is. And the nice thing is... It's so it's a, oh, Turing. it's Turing. I mean, the nice thing with Ichi is, obviously against Kate, you know, you don't have to worry about the Mimic. Mm -hmm. You know, it really, really pressures Mimic. Okay, Zool and through. Yep, absolutely. Caprice right. time. Caprice time. So it looks like we're not even going to res that Ichi. Okay. Oh, he so still might. About it. I mean, that would I leave him with four? Yep. That's that's tough. That's then if you is. score out, then uh, that broke. data sucker's getting counters so, for a while. So we're going to the side game, side game. All right, so, so what do you bid? Bid two? Oh, runner, you got a free roll. Um, <laughs> it's an NAPD. Has Corp. I'm not bidding two here. You bid one, maybe? As runner, I'm one or zero. Oh, is he going to spend his money? Sure, why not? You got to use those Stimhack credits. Might as well get something out of it. Yeah, so, so he waste. may not have a free roll now, which changes the, the logic a little bit. So he spent, so he has what, four Let's left? Let's get some Mimic. So mimic. That's four. Yep. Oh. So he's so got this... two left, so he can just use those Stimhack credits for this. The fact that he even went for this makes it feel like maybe he thinks it's not in the NAPD? You know, now I wonder. So he spent, what, five for the Zool to get through the Turing? Four to get the Mimic out. Uh, so it's been all Stimhack money okay, so far. Yeah. Yep. So I think he's got nine there? Is yep. Or, or is that nine so. or six? It might be one, two, nine. three. I think it's nine. Okay. We can see now. Yeah, it's nine. Yep, so it's nine credits. Uh, boy. As Corp... It's tough. It's hard to think about both it sides. It really is. Uh, <laughs> I think I bid one here. Runner, I'm one here. I'm yep. one both sides. Two, two. Oh. Wow. Oh, wow. But this is an expensive NAPD, and he's got this another is. Caprice in hand. But I think you're still happy. It's a Jackson, I think. I don't, or no, that was... It was advanced. That was an NAPD, yep. yep. So I, I still think, though, if you're Kyle, you're happy to win that Oh, side yeah. You go, you're happy to get that Caprice out of there. Yep, absolutely. He didn't res the other ice, though. He still has 10 credits. Yep. Um... And you made him. Now he's got this awkward Zul versus Turing matchup right. for that's, a while, unless he wants to, to get a Cyber Cypher out, which yep. is annoying. So, lost quality time. So, yeah, you took a brain damage, you spent a bunch of money. You got so, the Mimic out, though. Yep, so, so, while Kyle is winning right now, I, I still think Ben is in a good position. He's, he's in a great spot you know, if he can a, get something to break her bay up. I mean, he's got pretty an early. Soon. You know, he's still got a second Caprice already. Yeah, that's what makes it okay. Yep. So, so he's not too worried, I think, about you know, anything crazy happening. You, a, one way to beat Kate is to just pull her into that remote over and over again, especially for NAPDs. You know, and you might want to toy around with seeing if he just runs straight face down cards. Right. You know, it's, maybe it's that way you can just start um, throwing Jackson on that server. Mm -hmm. They think they're agendas. Yeah. You don't have to advance anything to make him run. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, I I remember asking today. You know, I play a lot of Wayland, and that's a lot of what it was, is bluffing potential mm -hmm. agendas to make them spend as much money as you could to get that scoring window. Yeah. I mean, obviously, Caprice shores it up, because you still have that chance of mm -hmm. just winning the Caprice, and you don't have to worry about it, mm -hmm. but it certainly helps. Yeah, and Kate's really great at getting into any remote one time, but yep. not that great at getting it anywhere over and over right. again. Right. I mean, Kate is all about efficient runs. It's all about burst. Runs. Yep. And the hard part against playing against Kate is even when you think you have that scoring window, you get him down to one or two credits. It's tough. You know, she's lucky the, find and boom, you're right she's back She's the in master it. of remote camping. Absolutely. 
R&D free so data sucker free counter R&D. with 11 credits. So I'm, I'm a little surprised. It's a little bit of a tell. There, that he didn't res at, at Ichi. I would trash here. Sure, yeah. why not? You know, it's going to be more of a pain later if you don't. Do you think he's trying to save the money instead of res- resing at Ichi? I, yeah, I so what is the Ichi 2 over there? And no, well, Ichi 1 is the first one. one. The first one. The other one's probably one the architect, one. maybe? So again, which he doesn't want to res at against. At the time, there were no data sucker counters, so you would have forced him to at least waste two clicks running through that server. Yeah, but you, I think you want that Ichi to be a surprise. I think you're trying to nail him with the CVS and later in the game, is the big play you're going for. I think there's a C, did, did a CVS go in the remote? Did he draw I one? I think so. So I then, drew I think he's waiting for that big moment. So I think that server is Caprice. It's Caprice. Um, probably, in, you know, I don't even know what that, that third card is. It could be the, does he have a Jackson in hand? Didn't he have a Jackson? He still has a Jackson in okay, hand. Okay, so it's so not that. That's what I thought maybe was a Jackson. Wait, Caprice, Breaker Bay, CVS, well, is that Caprice, it? Caprice, CVS. Those and then the, is sure. the Breaker Bay in there? That would be my guess. Yeah. Yep. All right. So Kate doing what Kate does. We got Eli. That's look. That's pretty good. It's right always now. a good card. I, I know you see a, a lot of um, a lot of corpses are moving away from Global uh, Food ABT. Yeah, that's right. There we go. I, I love Global Food. It's such a great Kate's card. Kate's got eight. Kate's got ten credits. You know, Global Food is single-handedly replaced more. You know, oh, NAPD and the, the majority it's of the, decks. It's the the best card for the game in the last long time as far as diversity of what you can do you know I'm, and i'm glad they they actually made Archive, it a neutral another influence. food yeah Instead and of yeah, just it, giving it to nbn and it, or <laughs> if it was neutral zero influence it'd be too easy it'd be it'd too, be too easy. obvious oh, right there's zero so, reason not to play it um it's a nice balance and it's an interesting decision yep i agree you no know, future perfect versus global food is Nobody's ever going to decide that argument. Well, it depends. So, you know, our meta was testing with now with Global Food, the Harmony MedTech, mm-hmm. playing with three Global Food, um, three yeah. three Future Perfects. And, you know, it's, That's it's, a pain. It's <laughs> so, you, you steal one Global Food and you have to steal half the agenda. You, know, you don't even feel like you're any choice. closer to winning. No, absolutely not. You almost want to steal two Future Perfects right, and you'd get rather, it done with. You'd rather steal the two Maker's Future Perfects. Maker's Eye. Um, it's Architect Ichi One. Yep. Ooh, what click is this? This could be that big. Well, he's Ichi got, moment. He, he's, he's got... He's going to make him blow an SMC for... So he's rising the breaker bay. Mm-hmm. So he can res... Yep. So if this is click three... This is... So... He res... He just bounce? Breaker bay. Did he jack out? I think he did. Wow. wow. That's an incredible read by So Kyle. that's, the, that's the, the Ichi play. Wow. I was talking about. Wow. Well, I wonder why he res the breaker bay... Like without having him commit to not jacking out first, that's kind of that kind of yeah, bizarre. Kind of interesting. I wonder if he resed it and then uh, I'm Kyle still, said I didn't say I was. I got to Kyle a lot of credit for that read. A lot of players would have oh, yeah. that read. Yeah, it makes me think that maybe he, he probably doesn't have sharpshooter in his deck because with nine credits, worst case scenario, you've got SMC what? you can go get. It. You know, it's oh no, MU though. He's only got four MU. Right, right. Well, I, I know a lot of decks have been looking at cutting sharpshooter, and uh, I know Armad has been toying around with a, a one of. Um, uh, sacrificial construct right now. Yeah. Because it forces two CBS and to have to be on the table. Yeah. Which is right. huge for most fast advances. Keeping uh-huh. two on the table is almost impossible. Yep. It can can save you against Marcus Batty too. Absolutely. Which happens. Absolutely. Yes, it does a lot. <laughs> you know what? It's useful against uh, running into a shattered remains in 24 7. Yep. You know, it's another big one that it's good for. Oh, so yeah. it has a lot of uses. Right. You know, we, we've been testing one. I know okay. one of the guys in Meta really wants to go to two because he's liked it so much. So did the did the ABT go down there? That, that That's my thought. He's got a Jackson on the table. you got to at least clear yep. that out. So Maker's, Maker's Eye again. again. This time click one. <laughs> so, he, so, so he realized this we've learned. Last time. He's like, yeah, I don't got to worry about it now. We've learned the HP secret. <laughs> yep, absolutely. So you just let this through. Do you, do you res each? You, just you got nine credits. Clicks? You just make them spend the clicks. Then you go to four. The thing is, if you don't res, it's kind of a tell that you put an agenda down. Right. Because um, obviously sitting on four means, you know, Using, it's not gonna be, you're not gonna be able to res Caprice and use her efficiently. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think you just you let it through. Yep. Three yep. cards. So Kate doing what Kate does, getting efficient runs. 
Ooh, four points, bad news. Two. Having to score four points hard way. Yeah. You never like. He's got any got two teams. voice pads though. You can bounce back. Yep. So I think I think if you're Kyle, you're okay giving up this agenda. Yeah, well, but if that Jackson doesn't get trashed, I mean, if that's an could, ABT. I mean, because you, you got an ABT. you uh got just got Maker, you know at least the next card is safe, and you've got a Jackson on the board. Oh, right. there it goes. You know at least okay. two cards are safe. Ran archives, it looks like. Yep. Ooh. Well, you're gonna draw one of the two because one got stolen. Oh no, but now no, he's gonna shuffle. Now good. he's gonna so, shuffle. Yeah. That's too bad. So no, so goodbye, goodbye, Kyle. You know Ben won't be able to fire the ABT. I think he really wanted to. Although, you know, with six pieces of ice out there, it's really in the game. Yeah. I, I, and he's got his he's got his ech twos already. <laughs> yeah. That's probably if you're gonna ABT into something, that's pretty oh, sweet. Ech twos would be the best thing. That's yeah. pretty sweet. Yes. <laughs> So Kyle's still in a pretty commanding spot here. Um, again, even if he gives up that two points here, I, I think he's still doing okay. I think it's fine, and you know, then I mean, ben, Ben's gonna have six credits. Ben, ben was kind of telling with not resing that Ichi that you know we really can't afford to, to res a bunch of <laughs> res a whole lot of ice here. This lights thing is gonna become a thing if we're not <laughs> careful. Not. <laughs> so an Adonis draw. All right, going so to six go. credits for two points. So, so you think Ben's gonna Here we go. Oh, he's doing it. Enigma, Jackson, and, and Tollbooth. Toll way to go. See, you know, I gotta Incredible. be honest. Incredible. Uh, that was gutsy. I, I think so, I but look, two voice pads down two to four. You've got six credits. Yeah, but hey, look, any let's get get your ETF credit. You have what? One agenda, two agendas. He should he should get an ETF credit here. I think he missed it I think for so. installing the yep. ice. So, you know, I, I I I don't know that I would be able to make that fire that ABT in that same yeah, position. Yeah, but I also wouldn't ever criticize anybody else for doing it because I think it's a make or break play. Yeah, you could have easily just you know dumped four points into archives. Because and think the about game. the ice he's got on R and D. He's probably thinking he can't res that for a long time. Right. And right. you're against a data sucker that might just get hit over and over again. You're you're against four points. So uh, looks like legwork was drawn. Oh, that's dangerous. Well, but the hard part is he doesn't have the MU to uh, close right. about his SMT right now. There's he, a lady in the yard, though. Oh, so but it, so, so he could clone ship yep. that if he really wanted to. But he's kind of he's got five credits. You're so, trying you're trying to build his Kate here. I think my read would be fired in ABT, meaning he's probably got agendas in hand. He's thinking true. You know, there, there's six out, there's six out there. I've Which got, is the I've truth. Got something in hand. Otherwise, there's a couple you don't make in that, there. You know, Jackson's gone. You don't make that call otherwise. I think he's got a. He's got a couple in there. Yep. So, so I would definitely, discard. you know, Kyle's been making the reads all game so far, which I've been really impressed with. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd like to see him make that read and, and, and legwork. Indexing down. Indexing down. Tollbooth makes it well, less Tol good. Tollbooth makes <laughs> that, that, yes, that's really unappealing to have to run through it twice. But uh, five data circuit counters that Tollbooth could get parasited. So scavenge, that's different than pressing. That's one I haven't seen. I mean, a lot of, a lot of kids dump Sai Sai. Um, uh, yeah, so, you still so you want, wasn't played a lot you want to reset the lady still. So having one in the deck, sure, sure, I can see that making sense. Still is cool. So Ben throwing down another agenda, absolutely. Got to get him out of the hand. So he still got two in hand right now. Got a couple in there. Yep, he, he still got two. You sure that was an agenda that went in there? I, I don't know why you wouldn't at this point in the game. I suppose. I mean, you got you, you got, got the Kate, Caprice. You got the Caprice. You got Kate's on Kate three pretty, bucks. Pretty, pretty, pretty broke. Yeah, but three credits. Mm -hmm. The thing is about ETF is the ABT helps, but if all you do is score and you never run a campaign, you can kind of dry up oh, and you can't get can't get that seventh point. Yeah, but again, I think getting that total without an R&D. That's huge. That's a big deal. Going down, you know, going a little bit. That you know, total is credits. an entire Adonis campaign of money. Oh, absolutely. So I mean, yeah, that was huge. You can think of it as four turns saved, kind of. So. Discarding clot. Playing a same old thing that could become a stimac. Gets an Adonis for free. Feels free. good. Free money. Oh, Ash, good. that's that's oh, an incredible oh, wow. card right now. Yeah, but the hard part is you, you let it tick out, and you, you don't want to just yeah, you don't want to just at least it. at least one more turn. You know, but you, you have every all the. I think you, you got you got a big window here. You got Ash Caprice. I think you want to score your five three. Oh, you just want to get it out. So you want to get the Ash in there. You can run the Adonis. Although I don't know that you need to. Um, you know, even if Kyle steals it, 
it's only two points. I right. think you score, you get the early easy score <clears throat> with the three two, and then you can go for the win. Once you, yeah, once you, but once you get to five with ETF, you can just keep throwing trash at them. Right, and Absolutely. that's so rough that for sense. Kate. She yep. has to make such decisive plays. If you're just throwing unadvanced cards in there at five points, that's the nightmare. So, oh, there's, there's the food. The food. Yep. Ash going down. Yep. I think you might uh, run, end this campaign one turn early next turn and score your 5-3. So again, if Kyle, I, I think Kyle's got a leg work at this point. Yeah. I mean, ben has thrown so many things on his server. He's got 11 credits, so Lady would be 3, and then he's got, he can get in. Yep. For sure. Yep, I, I think he's fine. I mean, regardless of what that, unless it's another total from the, <laughs> on the front of HQ. I and just, yeah, this, I, it's late enough this play... Game, Says five three. Absolutely. You know the fact that he's taking so long to set it up. Yep. Yep. So I, I do. I, I think you've got a leg with it. I mean, we're pretty far in the game, to be honest. You you pulled Jenna's off of R and D. You know he's been throwing a lot yeah. of. Yep. Oh, now you now you definitely oh. read. That is a hundred percent read that that is. Oh, oh he draws another one. Ben. That's a dangerous last click oh, draw. God. So I don't know, I don't know what you're looking for with that last click draw. So if Kyle Leg works, he, he wins. Yeah, he's it's probably probably hoping to pad the hand and I, I, not I draw an so. agenda think, with that. And it, and it kind of backfired. Yeah, the worst feeling. <laughs> yeah. So, so, yep. Oh, so here it comes. There it is. Oh, so yeah, no. it's coming. I, I mean, theoretically, you could. How many? We went to the court. I mean, you could theoretically same old thing like a. I don't know, uh, a hedge fund, and you still have a click to, to go run. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the leg, legwork in hand. Yep. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw. See, the thing is, if you're gonna make this play, you, you might as well do it. Oh, you might as well do, do it, it with some clicks so you you can. I, I really thought he was gonna astrolabe. do it there. There's your MU. Yep. So, so ben, Ben's like, I gotta throw an agenda down here. This is 5 3 time. Yep. Yep. He's got so many oh, he's in hand. It. Well, he's this is for this turn, yep. and now it's done. Oh, and there's the Jackson. I think you dropped the Jackson. You gotta get his attention on this remote. I think you dropped the Jackson, you just draw. Oh, yeah, this is tough. Yeah, you drop the Jackson, and you just draw. Put yeah. all the agendas away. Oh, Kyle, Kyle missed his window. Yeah. I, I thought for sure as soon as he pulled that. So, how many cards in hand now? Seven? Seven. Yep. Yep. So, you draw again? I think you draw again, dump three agendas. And you're fine. See, this is so uh, counter to my style. It's good to see. <laughs> my mind is so get that five three in there, get their attention on the remote, um, and hope they don't have their one leg work. Right, right. You know, because they're not gonna just hit HQ for one card no, here. No, absolutely. And who not. cares if they do? So, well, last turn he he, he would have cared. <laughs> well, yeah, but <laughs> most of the time, the, no. in the runner's mind, no, they're thinking Corp care, doesn't care. I mean, you know, thinking, you know, typically as a runner, you're thinking. Probably one out of five, maybe mm -hmm. two out of five. If I'm lucky, but so what's it now? He, he left. He dumped three. Three agendas. Did he ditch that five three? See, I'd want to hang on to that. I'm, I still want. I still want to score that. Anything in hand for sure. I still want to score that five three. Oh, there, here comes HQ. So he's doing the legwork a little too late. Now I wonder if Kate thinks that he was looking for agendas with the Jackson. Wow, that is a uh, lady, lady server. Yeah. Ooh, this is... This is interesting. So there wasn't any P. I don't know if there's anything else. So there. here's... Go ahead and... Turing? Uh, <laughs> Ow. I, I think these are loaded decks. Oh, there's oh, the food. food. He did He did keep it. Okay. So he's got a one on three shot. One and three. Win. That's it. Oh, this game. Oh, brutal. Oh, rough. Brutal game. Yep. Uh, so I'm a little surprised. I think Ben wanted to go for the win, which is why he kept mm -hmm. uh, two agendas in his hand um, instead of just keeping just, one in his hand. Yeah, he had that awkward period where he had a scoring window but not quite enough money because yep. he didn't get that early campaign to go with his grid. I, I do think, you know, I, I really like to see him not you know, throw an agenda down earlier in that server. You know, I know he wanted the money, yeah. but I think you have to rely at that point in the game. You know, got to just trust your centrals. Yeah, you trust, yeah. Yeah. I, I think you do. You've drawn all the agendas. So you don't have to worry. I, I don't think you're too worried at that point of, mm -hmm. you know, R&D coughing something up. Yeah. 